Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Hopes. Everything is going crazy. We are fighting Shez. I did think at the start of the game there was a chance that we ended up fighting Shez, and my only logic was that Shez's name defaulted to Shez, while the Ashen Demon's name defaulted to your last uh, Three Houses save file uh, name, which to me indicated that this was your main character. Now that's obviously not what ended up happening, but it is kind of interesting. Anyway, I've set up our party. Basically, it's the same as last time, but um, Ash and Demon and Shez are out and in are Leone and Lorenz. Now, uh, Claude is not actually useful here, so there is an argument for taking him out, but I feel like Claude has to come with us. Hilda is actually useful for going up to this bit here. Um, Raphael is useful against the immediate problem in front of us. And then Geralt is useful up against these guys up here, but also very useful against Shez. Shez will be, get destroyed by Gerald, the Blade Breaker, which seems thematically correct, especially as he's protecting his son. And then we're going to bring along Leone and Lorenz there, and they will all just kind of squad up. So, given that I've set everything up and I've saved, it's time to go. It's also a very short mission for eight people, so interested to see what happens. I will hunt you. So, sorry, sorry, story. Sorry, story. Every single time I'm like, Let's try this. get rid of the story. All right, I'll so you're going to be an adjutant. All right. We're probably going to control you. These muscles can't do. Yeah, you are going to go. This. Is there anyone who can actively fight right now? Can I get you here? No. Uh, you're going to go there Don't and worry, fight that person. I won't slack off. Uh, I'm going to create Got squad. It. Whoa. There's our little Lance squad you. there. I'm on it. You are gonna head here. Let's see how it goes. Uh, Please. Marianne. Excuse me. I don't know. Like, chill with Hilda. I'm not Same sure with Shamir. Chill with Hilda. Need some backup. Cool. Right. And then we'll control our character. Right. Let's go. Get back here. In here, little uh, battle trance. And there we go. Get to shares before Alpax is routed. Okay, we can do that. Destroy them all. I love Solon just being like, I don't know what's happening, but something's happening. Right, grab that. Let's move forward. Uh, punch. Interestingly, Chez is listed as like a third party in this one, not as one of the uh, two major uh, like fight members, which makes sense given that these guys don't know who Chez is. They're just like, what? What are you doing here? Right, push your way forward. They're in trouble. Okay, well I'm getting there. Who is bias? See how those beasts crawl to the slaughter. Let me put you out of your misery, beast. Right, let's just kill them. So, knock him into the air, slam, and stomp into the uh, thing. We almost glitched through the door. The door then opened in front of us. That's good. Right. So now we've opened that. Um, I'm going to send you. I don't know why that's locked off down there. I'm going to send you down there. Let's briefly get you in control, Night Kneeler. Cool. You guys. Attack. Let's see how it goes. Um. So who's good against that one? Like just any of you? you no, know let's uh. Now it is let's just turn. split off Lorenz for a second. Do. Yeah. These let's guys can this. now access up here, so let's send Don't them worry, up there. I won't slack off. Right, and then I'm gonna control you. Right, you in great. right, fierce iron fist. <laughs> nice. Uh, punch. <laughs> Didn't hit them with a single hit. Well done. Stay out of this. It does not concern you. Okay. What's going on? This isn't like you at all. Okay, I guess you're not gonna listen Just chill. And gotcha. And then there's one over here as well for us to get. Ace Captain. Okay. Nice. I'm now going to leave you to do whatever you want to do. Let Gerald. Need the blade oh, that was terrible. 
uh, Night Kneeler. That's a good knockback. I must move us away from all of these foolish distractions. Keep attacking. Oh, they teleported. All right. Well. What was that? Some kind of warping magic? They must have gone somewhere else. We we know where they went. This presents a problem. We need a group to pursue them while the rest of us fan out in case they warp again. Why do you insist on interfering? Keep attacking here. That one's dead. Hello, Shatter Slash. Right, and now we attack. Keep attacking. This is fine. I'm assuming a certain amount of HP and they'll teleport. Okay, defeat the gatekeeper. I would never. They teleported? They did. Okay. Where have they gone? No idea. Okay, um... You're doing fine. You're doing good work. Don't know what you're doing, but you'll find someone to do. Like maybe this person over here. All right. uh, there we here go. Let's so get you to attack that There's one. We'll leave Gerald do. to go where he needs to go. I have no idea where we need to go. So, let's control Hilda. Followed by one of these. Nice. That opens our path forward into here. Uh, you are going to attack down that corner now. Let's move Hilda in. Okay, one. Get lightning. Good hit. Break off there. Um, hit him. I don't know who we hit with this, but it's probably good. Nice. And War Strike. Followed by Apocalyptic Flame. Okay, that's fine. Your Majesty. It seems Lady Edelgard is pursuing Dimitri through the mountains. Hit him. What? They're that close by? Then we need to wrap this up and get over to them. Okay, Edelgard is fighting Dimitri. You're still chasing me? Okay, sure. What is the Federation Army doing? This is our chance to capture him. Okay, uh, where did they go? <laughs> they just left at some point. Okay, squad. Yeah, let's do this. I don't, I don't know where you need to go. I guess you need to somehow get over there. I don't know. Do do what you want to do. Figure it out. Um, let's be you. <laughs> There's no, it's my turn. Fierce Iron Fist. I could take a lesson from your persistence. Keep attacking. Careful. One of those. One of those. Get behind them. Get them. Nice. And we killed everybody here. Also nice. Do whatever you want to do. How many have we killed? We've almost got our kill target done, which is nice. Although I still don't know what the mission is, apart from just chase. Oh, well, this is convenient. I'm moving my own pace. Attack. You're in my way. Move forward. Night Kneeler. It's a good knock back. A couple of hits. And we got one. There we go. Keep attacking in here. They warped again. Oh my... Okay, you guys. Stronghold captain. Uh, Raphael. Wait, how do I get here? <laughs> I don't know how I get here. Uh, You know what? You attack. You attack. Your job is to head around here in case that's where we need to go. Right. Um, Raphael, I control you. Like ending right, things go. on a low note. Let's go. As such, prepare to die. Bias reappeared. Okay. That's fine. Not really a problem, if I'm honest with you. They didn't last very long last time. Get him. All part of the plan. So they all go up in the air. Big uh, hit down, followed by rock. 
That went pretty well. I think we killed that? Bias again. My muscles always win the day. Okay. In here, Basil Trans. And hit him. Knocks him into the air. Nice. This one. High amounts of base damage here. Which is good. Just keep punching. Couple more, got him. Alright, so that at least stops Shez from doing damage. Aha! We got him! And that is saved to Alpax with no health left. Nice. Okay. Whew. What's next? Thank <laughs> you. And some dialogue. You sound surprised, kid. I'm almost defended. Nice. Um. No problem. I got it. Wait, that was wrong. I didn't know you could do that. That's kind of cool. You can just switch between them. Thanks, pal. Um, you. Let's try this. Are going down here. There's a reason for this. I better back them up. You're gonna head up this way. There's nothing these muscles can't. Gerald. I must read and the squad. From you by my own hand. Hit. So be it. You. Followed by Shatter Slash. This is fine. This time. I hope you're ready. Keep attacking. Keep attacking this one. Get him. Right. Uh, squad. Solon. Get him. see how it goes. Claude. Let's try this. Open chest. Right, time to get moving. <laughs> that's why. That's the whole reason I did that. Right, you. Uh, all right. Here uh, this way. You got the treasure. Cool. Squad attack. How long have we got? We got about a minute and a half to kill. All right. Well, let's see if we can do it. Uh, battle trance. I hate to lose this stronghold. Followed by this. Oh, I ran out of um, durability. Okay, that's fine. And hit him. That will hopefully do a ton of damage. That killed him in one hit. Well, that was definitely a ton of damage. That's what I described that as. Okay. Didn't expect that. How could I allow myself to be bested by such a despicable beast as this one? I need to get this flesh underground. Oh. So it's true. You really are from Shambhala. Forgive me for this, Solon. But without your sacrifice, this world can never be made clean. Oh, great Zaharas, veil of night fluttering in the abyss. By the laws of creation, throw wide your infernal gates and swallow my foes. So, you've come here to strike me down yourself. I thought you were a smarter foe than that, Edelgard. Really? You think you'll win this fight? The upper hand is clearly mine in this moment. All I have to do is buy some time. <laughs> so you say. Then I suppose I must test your resolve. <laughs> Not so fast, you two. I don't want to miss all the fun. I wouldn't say no. So what do you want to do? <laughs> this power, it's... Oh, well, that's not good. We got an S rank. Everyone's dead. But we got an S rank. Okay. 
Well, that's Gotta get stronger. good, I guess. Now, I think that Solon used this ability in Three Houses. And basically, we got out of it by the main character just being like, uh, no, I'm a god, see you later, right? I'm not entirely sure that's going to work this time. But we'll see. Maybe it will. That's what strength will get you. Obviously, he's MVP. He killed like 90% of the fight, including Shez and Solon. And he killed Solon in like one hit. Yeah, everyone's mastered their classes. Cool. It was an extra large boolean in the chest. Eh, kind of worth it. I mean, it literally is worth it because it cost us nothing to do it. But, you know, kind of worth it. Raphael and Geralt have a C rank. Nice. And we got 10 renown. Wonderful. Cutscene? It has been a long, long battle. My race wavers at the brink of extinction. Who the hell are you? And so it falls upon me to reclaim this world. That what was stolen from my people might be theirs once more. Which is why I was born. Yes, I created you. The cycle of the world, the rehousing of souls. How desperately I sought this secret art. But it demanded precision. One defect, one essence wrongly transplanted, would lead to consequences most irreparable. I knew I must oversee the process myself in order to save my beloved people. When my consciousness first initialized, I was nothing. I remember the sound of water, of bubbles, the sound of a massive object slowly lurching along. I thought the noise would continue for eternity, but then, a change. Something gave way. The water began rushing rapidly. Pale shadows closed in around me. Amidst deafening sounds, I walked desperately in search of light. That was an unforeseen accident. I was sure all had been lost to the waters. It was fortunate I had created you. For you proved useful in a way I never expected. I am to become you. That's why I'm here. What? That's why I've been compelled to remove any obstacle in your way. Okay, well that kind of fits in with time travel, I guess? Because if Arval is gonna become Mega Arval, then that would kind of make a level of sense if there's time travel involved. Like, Mega Arval sent younger Arval back in time to become Mega Arval, creating a paradox. Only by destroying the abomination inside the Ashen Demon can we bring salvation to the world. So you understand. Then return that body you two share to me. It pains me to do this to you, but alas. All was written from the beginning. Okay. I don't really get it, but okay. Golden wildfire into the chasm. Where am I? Stay where you are. It would be best if you refrained from bringing out any weapons as well. Wait, Edelgard. Hold on. What are all three of you doing here? I have the same question. It appears we've been swallowed up by some kind of strange magic. That's the long and short of it. But isn't all of this your doing? <sighs> When we awoke, we found ourselves here, in this dark and ominous void. Don't tell me you can't remember what happened. You suddenly transformed and started attacking your friends. Luckily, we managed to knock you out and capture you. But it wasn't long before you came to and escaped. I was told that you were acting like someone else entirely. <sighs> I guess that kinda rings a bell. The last thing I remember is Arval telling me to slay the Ashen Demon. 
At least, I think it was Arval. Arval? Oh yeah, we didn't really mention that name to anyone, but Edelgard's look in her eyes, she's like, I know that name. The voice in my head. We've known each other for a few years now. Either that or the look in her eyes is, what are you talking about? In which case, saying what we've just said is going to really set her off. Uh, huh. Pretty out there, right? This is why I never mentioned it. And you claim this Arval suddenly decided to turn on you. I have just noticed something. No, it's spelled differently. For a second there, I was like, is Arval just Larva spelled backwards? I mean, it is an anagram still. And I was wondering whether that's meant to be some kind of hint. But it might just be that their name is Arval. I know how it sounds, but yeah. There are two things I can say for sure. The first is that Arval's magic is what dragged us all in here. And the second is that no one's in my head anymore. How can you be certain? Because I don't feel them. At least not in my mind. Arval's somewhere else now. Somewhere distant. I don't mean for this to be an interrogation. But distant? From where? This story of yours is hardly convincing. Well, you do seem to be your old self again. That, if nothing else, makes me want to believe what you're saying. At the very least, I hope you know a way out of this fathomless prison. About that. I know I said distant, but Arval's definitely here with us somewhere. If we can find them and figure out what magic they used on us, we might just be able to escape. That sounds wildly optimistic. Yeah, but do we have another plan? It sure does. But considering we don't know a thing about this place, we might as well give it a shot. In that case, let's begin looking around and see if we can't find any clues to where we are. Okay. We're gonna split up and look for Trues and Zaras. Temporarily parted ways with everyone but Claude. No sign of an exit. I wonder if the others have found anything. Okay. Well, this is crazy. Yeah. This is not what I expected. Okay. Also, I'm sure that at some point we are going to go back to the camp. I was as for a second there thinking, hey, maybe this is actually the end. As in, this is the route to the end of the game and the previous time that we were in camp was the last time we were there. But we must go back to camp at least one more time because we still have the support with the Ashen Demon to do. But anyway, uh, I guess I'll save here, maybe. Yeah. Interesting. So what's this? Huh? What is this thing? I'm sensing some kind of weird power coming from it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We need to use anything we can get our hands on. In Zaras, you can interact with mysterious distortions to make use of all facility functions. Really? Oh. Alright, I guess I'll collect my supplies. Sure. That's a little weird. That's definitely very weird. Um... Just checking something. Yeah, so they're all, like, out. Out. Like, they're, they're, there's no doing any of this. I guess we could, like, use the blacksmith? I don't really feel a great need to. I don't think we're underpowered. Also, just checking something here. Yes, we only have Claude. Okay. I was wondering whether we had Edelgard and Dimitri listed with us. <sighs> what a terrible predicament we're in. I wonder what would happen if we never escaped. Claude isn't hiding anything from me, is he? I find it hard to trust him entirely. Let's give a sincere answer. Mm. He's not, I promise. Besides, trusting him is the only option you've got right now. Yes. Well, at the very least, I doubt he would betray you, since you are his close friend. For now, let's just explore this area and see if we can find any clues. Oh. Seems like Dimitri and Claude are in the middle of some kind of discussion. Dimitri, we need to talk. Oh. Okay. A support. I'm just gonna come out and say it. After the war, 
I'm going to abolish the central church and depose the archbishop. Oh, the people of Fodland have been shackled by this decrepit system for too long, and I'm ending it. You're going to do away with the church? That's right. Think about it. Who steals your freedom and gives you an endless list of duties and obligations simply because you have a crest? Who forces you and your friends into a bunch of unwanted marriages and positions of power? The church even forbids any official contact with outside regions. Not exactly great for Fargus, right? Being as close to Serang and Albinia as you are. But to be clear, your quarrel is with the church, yes? Not with Fargus itself? Exactly. We have nothing to gain by fighting you. And really, our enemy isn't the actual church so much as the people at the top who make all the decisions. I understand where you're coming from, Claude. And on a personal level, I actually agree with you. Okay. But as a king, you're opposed. Yes, for three reasons. First, abolishing the church would deny the king's right to rule Fargus. I suppose it is called the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. If you take away the holy part, it starts to become a bit flimsy. Without one, the people will descend into chaos and war. Would you be able to take responsibility for such a thing once it came to pass? Second, recklessly discarding the church will only incite discord among the clergy and its supporters. And finally, a revolution of this nature will not only mean casualties among the common folk, but will endanger your own life as well. Leaving the first two for a second, I have some serious issues with that last one. I'm glad you're concerned for my safety, but I can take care of myself. But don't you see? The people you wish to depose are human, just as you are. Um... I, I, I have some bad news for you, Dimitri. They're not exactly... human. No matter what ingenious scheme you come up with, or how careful you try to be, they will suffer. And their vengeance will eventually find you, no matter how hard you try to stave it off. I know full well the guilt that accompanies such actions, and the retribution they provoke. Everyone has to deal with the consequences of their decisions. If you let it rule you, Fodlin never changes. And if it doesn't change, it'll just fall apart. But not taking the time to look where you're going will only lead you to stumble and fall. And if there are those who would be hurt by this, I consider it my duty to help them. <laughs> There you go, trying to save everyone again. You really are too good for me. <laughs> to be honest, I'm jealous of how you're not burdened with the same restrictions. In the world I'm trying to create, you wouldn't be burdened by them either. You could even... No, forget that. I'm serious about what I said, though. And I really do admire how you want to save everyone. Honestly, if you weren't a king, I think we could have been friends. I feel much the same. Had I joined with you, I might have been able to see a different vision of Fodlan. Cool. So I'm assuming we're going to get one of these for each matchup. So when we speak to Dimitri, I assume we're going to get a Claude Nadelgaard one. Let's find out. I wonder... It is strange to fight alongside those who would otherwise be my mortal enemies. However, we have no choice but to cooperate. I shall do what I can to help. Um, well, I'm happy to be working together. Mm. It's actually nice to have such a formidable foe on our side, even if it's temporary. Mm. Yes, we have a truce until we can make it out. Yes, we have a truce until we can make our escape. So I am at your service. I am quite skilled at anything requiring physical strength. I must return to my compatriots as soon as possible. Let us see what we can find around here. Looks like Edelgard and Claude are having a chat. Can't tell if it's a pleasant one or not. I have to say, this isn't how I imagined Fodlin's three most powerful leaders would be coming together. Indeed. I hesitate to even consider the look on Hubert's face right now. I don't think anyone's too worried about me, though. Vanishing without a word is kind of what I do. Even now that I'm the King of the Federation, it looks like I'm as unreliable as ever. 
Or perhaps it's the opposite, and your people think you reliable precisely because you always return. It must be nice having friends you can depend on to handle important matters in your absence. What's your problem with Monica? I'm sure Monica will do just a fine job in your absence. And it must feel lousy to realize no one wants to do your job, Edelgard. I'm glad to see your tongue remains as agile as ever. Let's try moving our feet instead, shall we? Hey, I can do both if you want. It's definitely not an either-or kind of situation. So, oh. Edelgard, say the four of us get out of here in one piece. I was going to say that was a short one compared to Dimitri's one, but I'm getting the feeling that some of this is shared between roots. I'm just getting that feeling like, oh yeah, this seems like this might be shared. Like, and then it does like a little cut to black and then this is for your specific route. It's kind of interesting. Anyway. What are you planning to do about Dimitri? Maybe we should join forces and take him on together. You're such a bore sometimes, Claude. And is that a serious proposal? Hmm. Well, I suppose it would be easier for me if the kingdom stuck around. After all, I get the feeling that if we divide Fodlin between the Empire and the Federation, I'll be the one holding the short end of that stick. Our goal is to deal with Rhea and the Central Church, not to unify Fodlin. You never have been one to mince words, have you? Well then, allow me to match your honesty. It would be more convenient for me if the Kingdom ceased to exist. The Central Church has a much closer relationship with Fargus than with the other regions. Even were we to capture the Archbishop and force her to dismantle the upper echelons of the Church, it wouldn't be enough. The roots of that organization run deep. Hey, hold on. You're just looking to capture Rhea? You're not gonna, you know, get rid of her? That's an interesting one. Where Claude has assumed this whole time that the goal is to just kill Rhea. Is it not enough to subdue a foe and remove them from power? I'm just surprised. I would have expected you to be more... thorough. And here I thought you wanted to pursue a peaceful solution. Hey, give me some credit. If I didn't like to rock the boat, Lester would have been swallowed up by the Empire ages ago. I have ambitions, Edelgard. Real ones. I won't go into details, but I'm definitely fighting to make them a reality. All that, and you're not planning to enlighten me? Unreliable and stingy. I, for one, have no qualms with telling you my ambitions. I seek to destroy the irrational power structure that shackles Fodlin. You mean the same power structure that put you in charge of the Empire? Just Fodlin, huh? Come again? Hey, don't get me wrong. That's a goal I can get behind. That's why we're working together. But I'd be grateful if my own ambitions can be fulfilled at the end of your path of conquest. I'd like to believe that is possible. At least for now, we can work together to achieve a common goal. And perhaps someday, our pact will become a more permanent one. I hope so, at any rate. Same here. But before that, we need to find a way out of this place. Okay. So that was our last one with Claude. So then we get to uh, hear Edelgard and Dimitri have a little bit of a chat. Should be very enlightening. I'm at a real loss here. What do you think, Shez? Any flashes of inspiration about where we are? Well, I'm stumped. Actually, I have a feeling I already know the answer. Oh boy, things are not looking up. Uh, tell him not to worry. Mm. Try not to worry, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here if we work together. Oh boy. I hope you're right, because even I don't know what to do here. I'm sure our friends are worried about our little disappearing act. We need to get back as soon as possible. On the bright side, we're trapped with the two most stubborn people on the planet. I'm sure we can get through this if we work together. And? Oh, there's no conversation between those two. So I guess you only get a conversation between those two if you're one of, on one of those two's routes. Okay, guess I should check out that distortion. I mean, okay. Uh, let's do a save, and then we'll check out the distortion. Um, which also acts as our facilities, weirdly. Sure. Let's go. Wait, wait a second. Any training to do? Oh, let's level up. Oh, you don't have any other training. Okay, fair enough. 
uh, embark. I love that you can do record keeper as well and go back and do previous missions. But I'm fairly certain that everybody's locked, so you can't actually go back and do previous missions with anyone but you and Claude. Which is kind of funny. Yeesh. You can't tell forward from back in here. Let's try over that way, maybe? Good idea. It seems different from the rest of the void. Look out! <laughs> so it failed. Has my skill degraded that sharply over the years? Arval. I have been searching for you. Didn't say that we were wrong in calling them Arval. And look what you brought me. The three who fancy themselves sovereigns, ruling over that abomination's wretched spawn. What unexpected luck. I do hope you are all prepared to face death this day. Hey, 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 just wait a second here. We are totally willing to kill Rhea. This is perfectly fine. And, I mean, in theory, we're perfectly willing to kill Sothis as long as we can do it without killing the person who's in, who Sothis is inside. But, you know, in general, we're kind of on your side-ish. So this is Arval, is it? Um, sort of. Undo this sorcery and return us from whence we came, demon. Oh, I do not think that will be happening. But even if I desired to accede to your wishes, the great forbidden spell of Zaharas is a one-way journey. So, the thing about this spell is that I think this is the exact same one used in Three Houses. So the way out of it was the Awakening part that um, already happened in this one for the Ashen Demon. You know, the green hair, all of that sort of stuff. It was them fusing with Sothis, and then they used the Sword of the Creator to leave. That's not really an option for us four, so I don't know what our plan is. None can escape this eternal darkness. I vote we kill this thing and see what happens. Who's with me? Something tells me they wouldn't lay this trap, only to suffer the same fate as us. If this being can free themselves from this void, it stands to reason that so too can we. Then try cutting me down if you like. Sadly, what you see before you is but an illusion. I have a task to fulfill, and once it is accomplished, I shall leave this place alone. Arval, wait! What task are you talking about? Why did you use me? And what are you trying to do here? Ah, but you are mistaken. I am not Arval. Who are you? My name is Epimenides. An ordinary man who vowed to kill the beast which set the earth ablaze. Epimenides? What a name! Do you not comprehend my purpose? I must save this world and its true people. That is why I chose to pass my consciousness down through the ages. And you, you are the vessel for that consciousness. What does that mean? Great question. Our mission is defeat Epimenides. Nobody can be routed. So do you actually have equipment? You do, you have Aradbar, which is his special um, lance. We have Labranda, which I don't think is the axe that she used in Three Houses, which means that axe has gone missing somewhere. And then we have Claude. And then you have we have you with the Night Captain sword. Um, is this the sword we want to use? I, I guess so. Yeah, I don't really have a reason to use anything else. Um, Dark Spikes Teeth, or, yeah, that's probably not going to be very useful here. I think that probably Wind Sweep might be quite useful here. Potentially. Swift Strike still seems good. The rest of this all seems fine. Claude, I think you're fine as well. Yeah. Let's save and try this? I, I don't know what we're doing, but we will defeat Epimenides. Let's go. It's an eight minute fight. I don't know what Thousand kills for S rank. This is weird. Let's toggle zoom. 
what's going cool. on, but I do know whoever that is needs to be stopped. And how far are you willing to go? That's your ability. You cut down your own friends to reach me. Oh, oh! Phantom of Hubert appeared alongside other phantoms. You. Okay, well, that is unexpected. What? No, it must be a double. If so, it's completely indistinguishable from the real thing. Yours is vile sorcery indeed. The Emperor is before you. Deal the killing blow. You can't fool me. If it were real, you'd understand. God, no! Don't do this! I can't believe you would hurt me! This is harder than I thought. I mean, how do we know for sure they're not real? I'm deliberately stalling. Why are you concerned with the enemy? He is right where you want him. Why are you? No, this is a deception. The man I know would never raise a weapon. Okay, I was let letting the dialogue play out a little bit. Time to attack here. Okay, keep attacking. Dodge, dodge. Got him. And good slice through a couple. You swift slice. Your screams are so real. Get him. How many have we killed? About 250. Well, it's going to be about 300 now. Yeah, sort of. It's not over. Done. It's done. But steal yourselves. I don't know who will confront next. Are we being warped away? No. Space not itself is distorting around us. What? Whoa, trippy. Our surroundings yeah. have changed. Well, couldn't hurt. Okay. This place is so twisted you can't even tell where you are. Aren't you sad for your comrades, murderers? There it is. There is your rage. Some of that. Oh! Is Edogard, Dimitri, and Claude? Uh oh. I can spot one thing, but how do I tell which Edogard and Dimitri are on my side? Perhaps each of us should take on their own double to prevent confusion. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. That's okay. This darkness is a mirror for the soul. And hit him. Once a soul is imprisoned here, it is eternally severed from the real world. Amusing. Just imagine how much easier our task will be with the two of us. A nice thought, yes. But I'm sad to say I failed to trust even myself. Why are you helping the Emperor? If you mourn your friends, avenge them! It's a blessing I get to face you. There is truth. Oh! <laughs> I was trying not to interrupt it, and we, the level up interrupted it. I'm getting stronger! Truly no one I more desire to end. <laughs> Stop playing the kind soul. Everything we've ever wanted is before us, ripe for the taking. If you're really me, then you already know why I'm doing this. I don't like leaving my fate up to luck. Okay, get round and attack. Big attack. We are running out of healing fairly rapidly, which isn't good. Hit him. Swift slice. Show me what you're capable of. Back off. Wind sweep. We are out of durability, pretty much. Hopefully, we don't need it for the final phase. Get him. I think Claude will be effective against Claude, because no. Bose. Must thank our adversary for letting me experience this. that. I've awaited this. No problem. All I right. Got it. You. Fallen Star. Yeah. Real arrow. That was just a complete miss. Oh, they also used Fallen Star. Okay. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Should have used the thing that let us get extra. What's it called? Uh, oh, the thing that makes them immune to flying. The thing that we have equipped to Hilda. That would have been good. Alright, kill him. Shoot in the air. Or, no, that's stomp for you. Okay, forgot that one. Drill arrow. Uh, 
Get round here, fire. Got him. Attack. Let, let's be Shez for a second. As a level up for Claude. For killing Claude. One step closer to my goal. I feel like I just slew my twin brother. You mean like how you slew your actual brother? Probably a bad time to bring this up. Yes, right. Moving on. That's, that's a free heal. I will take a free heal. That's not a free heal. That's Warrior's Gauge. I mean, I'll take it. All right, over here and uh, get get destroyed. This will also be pretty much all of our kills that we need as well. Uh, yes, so now we can focus just on... Oh, we failed it on damage taken. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Hit him again. And now just lay into them. Get behind him. We're not using Chez's class, which maybe we should be using here. Because we're still using Mortal Savant. But Mortal Savant's fairly good anyway. Dodge, dodge. Get him. Perfect. Out of the way. I can't say it's pleasant watching my own death. That's fine. We now have Awakening ready. That's the last of the illusions. So it would seem. At least now we're certain they're not real. We can cut them down without mercy. Just grabbing Again? all the little bits around here. Please tell me we're gonna find that guy this time. Oh. Through the mist. Oh ho. Right. Let's get searching. Oh, but you four are a marvel. To think you are already adapting to this place. Epimenides appeared. Oh, I'm ready. Let's fight. Now have the grace to lay down your lives and let the world you've torn apart heal. I'm ready. Let's attack. We're gonna awaken and destroy them. Right. This way. Over this way. Over this way. And ah, there I'll take you are. on. My partner in destiny. You're not our time. Even if you were, I'd fight you all the same. There we go, get rent here. And attack. That's not as much damage as I was hoping for there. There we go, a bit more damage. Keep slicing. And attack again. Keep attacking. Conjured as Zara's board um, thing. Phantoms of Shez and an ally appeared. So even our mercenary friend gets a phantom. This is going to take all of us. Time to put on. Oh, that's that's the Ashen Demon. Why does it have to be you? I don't want to fight. All right, another hit. Get him. I do have a heal, luckily. This is actually difficult, even with the awakening on. Alright, dodge, dodge. I got a perfect guard off in there. Don't ask me how I did that. I just thought I should guard and just hit it at the absolute perfect moment. That worked. We're about to run out of awakening. Let's just use it. So we hit him in the air. Slice him. I just realized that killing him might be bad, but you know, we're committed. I'm assuming he's just a phantom. We were told that we're okay to kill phantoms. Right. This way. Not often a guy gets to fight himself. Yeah. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay, okay. and I swift slice. It even thinks like me. Okay. Yeah. Keep attacking. This is just the beginning. Wind sweep. Keeps him in the air. Hit him. That knocks him up. Then into another one of these. 
nice keep shot. the damage up. Do it again. Every Sky. time they try and stand up, just hit them again. Nice. And wind sweep. Again, keep some CC'd. And we got them. I think we killed the base captain as well in there, just for no <laughs> like reason. I am forced to do this myself. So be it. Come at me if you dare. Watch this. I'm ready. Our adversary has finally run out of tricks. Followed by armored strike. Keep hitting for damage. Right. I decided we might as well do this. Atrocity. That seemed like it would have done a lot had they not been guarding. Right, switch. Fireballs, very strong. Drill arrow. Lowest defense. Followed by a fallen star. Back to you. I broke through one. You, flickering flower. Followed by armored strike. Switch. Atrocity. Huge damage. Got him. No, this isn't over. Stage complete. Be gone with you. The cycle of this world must be protected. You fool! Why must you resist me so? You know my reason. The tomorrow we're fighting for? The choice is ours to make! <laughs> It's incredible. Just how strong you've become. Arval. You have grown more than I ever thought possible. And yet... I've never felt more alone. Okay. Well, we defeated Epimenides, who also seemed yeah, to be Arval, and then we think that Arval has potentially given our sword the ability to cut through the veil. I hope. I won't let myself stop here. Yeah, yeah, I would expect us to be MVP. That makes sense. Also, mastered mortal savant. Hey, new power. That means we don't All have right. to use it. And we got Roti, a hero's relic attuned to the crest of uh, Timotheus. Match allows the matching crest bearer to use the Dark Spikes uh, Theta while wielding it. Timotheus is Happy's crest, I think. There's probably some lore attached to the reason why it's here. But we have it now. Or money. Good. I like money. And renown. Looks like we made it out in one piece. Are you sure about that? I still have no idea what's going on. Yeah, so I guess our sword allowed us to pierce the veil and allowed us to escape? Arval, or Epimenides, I suppose, has vanished. And we've been returned to where we started. Perhaps we should just consider this a victory, an ironic one, as we achieved it by working together. Fair enough. So, what happens now? 
Um, we take you hostage and we win the war? I can't speak for Edelgard, but I'm not exactly itching to fight you. Whatever's in store for us, let's say we just call a truce for now. I wouldn't have been able to return here had it not been for your assistance, as well as Claude's. Letting you walk away may not be the soundest of tactics, but at this point I see no other option. Agreed. Let's consider all debts paid. But just to be clear, I crushed you once, and I can do so again. Right. I gotta admit, I never saw any of this coming. In truth, I can't say I much expected any of this. Still, it got us talking again, and that's gotta be worth something. Well, I should be off. I hope we can do this again sometime. The speaking part, anyway. Yeah, let's not do the void part again. In that case, I will depart as well. I'm sure everyone must be quite concerned for me by now. See you both on the other side of this war. Well, my friend, are you ready to get out of here? Very. We still have one more enemy to deal with before all of this can end. Archbishop Rhea awaits. Okay, so this is all of the stuff that you would miss if you killed the Ashen Demon in chapter, like, 11? This is crazy. Okay. I still have no idea what's going on. Golden Wildfire. Field of Beginnings. The Federation successfully aids the Imperial Army, and together they pursue the Kingdom and Church forces. However, Claude's sole aim is to eliminate Archbishop Rhea. While Edelgard contends with the Royal Army, Claude and his forces go after the Church. In their pursuit, they arrive at the Teltine Plains, where Seros and Nemesis battled long ago. It's not much further to Kingdom territory. Once we've crossed the border, we'll march through the Teltine Plains and make our way to Ferdiad. The plains of Teltine are the largest in all of Fargus. As I recall, they're also where a well-known battle took place long ago. We're going by land instead of sea this time, huh? I have to admit, I prefer it this way. We may have taken a wild little detour, but we're finally back to marching on the Kingdom Capital. Claude, are you sure it would not be prudent to ask the Imperial Army for assistance? They certainly owe us after that last battle. The Imperial Army changed course to travel west, and Edelgard went after them. They're well on their way to Aryan Road. Most of the Kingdom's forces have gathered in the west as well. Rhea and her troops are the only ones who fled north. I don't get it. Sure, it makes sense for the Kingdom to reinforce their position on the Western Front. They're losing ground there, after all. But is the King of Fargus really abandoning the defense of his capital city and the church? Yeah, because he knows that we don't want the capital city, and we're only interested in the church. It makes sense. I can't claim to know what his intentions are, but... I suspect Dimitri's decided to leave the rest to me. What's that supposed to mean? What in the world could the king of an enemy territory trust you with? I think I get it. Dimitri is counting on Claude. To dissolve the Central Church. The Central Church is just a millstone around the kingdom's neck at this point. Dimitri's probably hoping Claude will cut him loose. Are you suggesting that the King wishes to avoid formally cutting ties with the Central Church and is therefore using us to bring about its demise? Hmm. I have heard that the Central Church aided the Kingdom when civil war broke out. Perhaps Dimitri feels indebted to the Archbishop, and his knightly values demand he not oppose her directly. But that's... No. I suppose this is the nature of war. There's more to it than that. The Kingdom and the Church have a long history, full of reasons why the King can't betray them. Long ago, the hero Lug von Blathid cut down the Adrestian Emperor of his day. In fact, their battle took place on the Teltine Plains, which we're just about to cross. The Church mediated the conflict and recognized House Blathid's independence, leading to the founding of the Holy Kingdom of Farkas. As you might have guessed, that's how they got the holy bit in their name. 
So essentially, abandoning the church would mean turning their back on the very group to whom they owe their independence. And that's why Dimitri wants the fledgling Leicester Federation to do his dirty work and abolish the church in his stead. And that's my guess, anyway. But his reasons are immaterial, since getting rid of the church is what we've been after all along. For the sake of our future and the free world to come, we'll tear down the central church and put an end to Rhea. You can count on it. And if they run off to Ferdiad, we'll just have to conquer the capital to get to them. That's the spirit. You know, kid, you've really become someone we can depend on. And now, your majesty, we await your official order. You got it, Judith. It's time to fling open the doors to a whole new era. All forces, advance! And it's a full month. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for confirmation. This is probably the final month as well, I'm assuming. I'm guessing this is chapter 17. I think the previous one was 16. Battle suggestions. Okay. We can do this. Hmm. I have a proposal. Certainly increases the chance of raising a unit's dexterity when ra when leveling up. Defense an, or I've charm? Got an idea. I've got an idea. Uh, I prefer defense. Yep. I've got this. One step at a time. You've rejoined your allies. I can't hear Arval anymore. Well, that's where Arval would be if they were still around. Let's have a look at our support info. Uh-huh. We now have the support between us and the Ashen Demon. Now this could be very, very interesting because we did just try and kill him. Hmm. But maybe we can... We were previously talking about the voices in our head. Maybe we can tell him more about our voice. And then he will tell us more about Sothis. Or maybe we speak to Sothis. There's a whole bunch of things that could happen off of that. But yeah, we've got a lot of people to talk to. And I'm thinking the final month, we're going to get all of the supports that we have remaining done. Which shouldn't be too hard, actually. I think we'll probably get them all done during the training. And... Sorry, these two in the background, in sync, jaunty walking, just completely distracted me. Um, yeah, so we're going to get all that done. And we're probably going to go back and S-rank a bunch of stuff that we've missed. This is the month for doing that, because we shouldn't need to do any volunteering. So that means that we can do basically full-on eating, which will then allow us to get like all of those um, buffs, which will give us a huge advantage, especially if we go back and do things like that Arval, uh, well, Epimendius uh, fight that we just did. I think that would be a lot easier with some buffs and perhaps, you know, some knowledge of what is going on. Also not waiting for the lore to go off. There's a bunch of things that could have helped us there. Um, but yeah, I think it's time to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.